lot of the new crossbows are coming through with two stage triggers. There's a lot of confusion about two-stage triggers out there. A lot of people think that what a two-stage trigger is is a single-stage trigger with a lot of creep. It's not. It's completely different. It takes a little bit of getting used to and understanding how it works to be able to properly shoot it. Once you get used to them, you're going to find they're really nice. The advantage is that you can get your finger on the trigger and get all lined up without putting any pressure on the sear so the bow doesn't go off prematurely really handy if your fingers are cold or you're wearing gloves. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a moment and I'm going to show you exactly how a two-stage trigger works compared to a single-stage trigger. Okay, what I'm going to do is rather than cock and shoot the bow, you can actually simulate this and practice it yourself. So what you do, take a thin screwdriver or a Allen wrench, put it in fire, pull back and then put the latch in place. Now the bow is latched down as though it's holding back the string. The way these two-stage triggers work is the first stage, that's your first stage. You're just taking up the slack. You're pulling up all that loose travel before you actually come back and hit the wall that actually is going to pressure the sear. So your first stage is just this. Once you come back to this wall, you want to stop. And then you wait for a split second. At this point, you are primed and ready to pull back and fire the bow, but you have taken up that first stage. You now have a really clean single stage trigger. That's what most people are used to. A single stage trigger eliminates that first stage just like this. As soon as you squeeze, it goes off. This first stage allows you to get in there. And if you've got a glove on or something, you can easily bump the triggers. You see, this adds that extra little bit of preset before you're ready to go. So, what I usually tell people to recommend when you're practicing with this is once you get the bow all set, you can put it in, uh, load it, cock it, put it in safe, and just gently pull through the first stage until you feel where that wall is. At that point in time, put it in fire, pull back, kind of feel where that wall is. Don't actually pull all the way through, get used to it. Once you pull up that slack in the first stage, you're ready to pull the trigger, now it'll launch. And you can kind of practice that, where that wall is, and then pull that last second stage through to fire the bow. Once you get used to it, it works really well.